All right, today we're gonna do rest and recovery. This is a nice stretch. It's four exercises, so it's not very long, but so good for your body and your mind, so let's do it. First exercise, you're gonna open up your feet nice and wide. It is a dynamic V stretch. It's one of my favorites. We're gonna do 10 of them. Pull your abdominals in. You're gonna reach your arms up into a nice big V shape. Relax your shoulders down. Now push your seat back behind you. Pull your navel in, look down. And once you get to the lowest part, tap your, your fingertips down. Stretch out the legs, feel your hamstrings, and then you're gonna roll through the spine nice and slow. That is a one. We're gonna do nine more. Reach up, pushing your seat back, 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 back. Good, good, good. Keep breathing, get as low as you can. Weight in heels, tapping your fingertips, stretching out the legs, roll it up all the way through the spine. Beautiful, keep this going in a nice flow. Seat goes back, Got abdominals in, looking down, tapping into the fingertips. Push through the legs, stretch through the hamstrings. Reach, reach, reach. Gorgeous, keeping your shoulders relaxed. And just try not to pause. You wanna get your heart rate going. Just keep that fluidity all the way throughout. This is five, lower down. Tapping, stretching, and breathing. Halfway there, up, Good. lower it down. Tapping. Good, I'm gonna do it to the side so you can see me. Reach up, push your seat back, tap. Four more, up, seat back, tap, breathe. Three, reach, seat back, tap. Two more, down, good, stretch. Roll, last one, up, push back, down, and roll it up. Lovely, next one. All right, for this we're going into a plie position. So grand plie, opening nice and wide. We're gonna go from a sumo position or a plie position to a lunge to a high plank, and then back again. So you're sitting low, you're gonna take your arms nice and wide. I want you to just turn yourself into a lunge and then hands are gonna come down. Take your right foot back to meet the left. Hold for a second. Right foot replaces. Bring it back into your lunge and then carry it around gently. So we're just flowing through from side to side. Lunge, stretch that back leg. Take your high plank, hold it, breathe it. Bring it back to the other side, pushing up. Feel the contraction in the leg. Getting into your lovely plie position and gently carry it around, find that lunge position. You can bend this knee or you can keep it long, it's up to you. Try and maintain balance. Find your lovely high plank, hold it. Same foot returns, right? So we're always returning the same foot we were on. Take it to the other side, gorgeous. Take it down, hold, breathe, inhale and exhale. Right back into it, flow, flow, flow. Glide, 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 gently across. Just think of yourself a beautiful posture, like a dancer. Even if you fall out of it, you're still working the muscles, it's okay, we're breathing. Inhale and exhale. Woo! Starting to get the heart warm and the body warm. Beautiful, graze across. Inhale and exhale. Go for it, up and around. Nice and gentle. After this, you've only got two more. Hold and breathe. Bring it back, up and around. Slow and controlled. Take it down, hold it. Shoulders stay relaxed away from ears. One last one, bring it up. Glide across, try and sit low, sit low, sit low. Down, hold, hold, bring it in. Return to the start. Lengthen up the legs, walk your feet in. Way to go. 
All right, for the next stretch, we're gonna do arabesque leg lifts. So, you're gonna get yourself in position. If you need to hold on to a wall or a chair, always an option here, but we're gonna try and work your balance. So we wanna take the right foot, take it to the side. You're gonna keep your hips as square as possible. Pull your abdominals in. Take your arms, your hands to your shoulders. Bend the right knee, point the back toe. And all I'm going to do to start is just start to lift and lower this left leg up and down. Keep a bend in this leg. Remember, if you need to hold something, totally fine. So we wanna feel it in our seat muscle, hamstring, abdominals, and the standing leg. Now, if you feel ready, we're gonna to start to add presses through the arms. So really stretch and try and get a hold at the top. Hold, abs are engaged. And now that we're starting, everybody should be in it, we're gonna do 10. Go for a nine, eight, and it's slow. Try and keep this tempo. Six, five, gaze is slightly forward and down, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax, we're just gonna carry it over to the other side keeping your abdominals in. So if you start to feel this in your back, in your low back, check what these guys are doing. Make sure they're pulling in nice and strong. Taking that left foot forward. Bend the knee, right? We're putting that weight into the hip, into get building bone density into that hip. Bringing your hands to your shoulders. Abs are engaged. Now find your balance. Remember, you can hold on to something if you need it, right? Maybe that's how you start. And then when you feel ready, press. Now remember your Spine is gonna go where your eyes go, right? So if I lift up here, my spine is off, and then I'm gonna probably lose balance. So try and keep that eye line just four feet in front, and really stretch. We're extending through the right knee, abdominals are in, arms are pressing out, so we're really contracting and stretching them as well. Let's do 10. 10, breathing, nine, squeeze, eight, seven, you can do it. Six, five, four, three. Hold it at the top. Find that balance. Gently lower and bring it back. Hopefully you weren't letting this guy drop down, right? So we want to really find that hold and then lowering with control. All right, let's go into the next one. Good job. All right, for this one, we're gonna do all fours into a hip circle and a glute stretch. So you're gonna hit this position all fours. The first thing I want you to do is circle. So it's like a cat-cow, but you're just gonna circle the hips, right? So we feel this up and around through the back and through the abdominals, keeping your shoulders relaxed. This should feel good. So nothing is forced here. We're breathing, and I'm going around to the right side, getting this nice release all in my joints. Feel the stretch in the back and the core muscles. Now from here, I want you to hold it center, and you're gonna take your weight, you're gonna take your right leg, take it and cross it over the left, and then pressing into a little stretch, bring it back and lengthen it. So you're gonna go down, push your seat to your heels just as far as it can go. Feel the stretch in your right glute and then lift and stretch. Take it down and stretch. So this crossover should feel a lot in this right seat muscle. That's what I want. So you're gonna take that stretch out and up. Good, eight more. Breathe, seven. Six, shoulders are relaxed. Five, so it's really dynamic. We're working through this stretch. Four, up. Press. Two, and now just see if you can hold it. 10 seconds. Inhale and exhale. Push a little more, try and squeeze your seat to your heel. Five, four, three, two, and come on back. If you need to, just bring it up, give a shoulder roll here. So just oh, release through your arms, through your shoulders. We're gonna do it all again. So once you recover, you're gonna come right back and you're gonna take that hip circle up and around, gently 
softly, controlled emotion. Breathe through it, stretch through the back. Right, we're circling the hips around. Take five more here, five, four, little back massage, three, two, and one. Now bring it to the center. From here, we're gonna do the other leg. I'm actually gonna turn so you can see me a little bit better with that side. So from here, you're gonna lift up the left, carry it back, try and push your seat down, and then lift and stretch that leg. So you're going back, stretching the glute. It's really slight, at least for me. Mine are so tight, right? Maybe you can go back a little more, but it really focuses on the one side, that one seat muscle. Breathe, down, up. Go for, f I think this is seven. <laughs> this is six. Down. Stretch it. Four. Breathing. Two. Last one, you're gonna hold it. Let's just take it back. Take that hold, push back a little deeper for 10 seconds. Nine, seven, six, five, stretch it out. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're gonna come right back to the front. Take a little breath with me. Hopefully you feel rest, recovered, ready to go into your next workout or after that workout. Way to go.